Hello. Welcome back. And as always, I hope you're doing well. Right. Last night, guys, um, one of my subs, Paul, tagged me on Twitter to let me know Severin, um, the film distributors, have dropped a trailer on YouTube. I will link it down below. It's 10 minutes long. And it's regarding a box set about the Bruce Bruceploitation films that's coming out. Now, it's going to be released on the 25th of June. But if you pre-order it, you can get it. They're going to start sending them out mid-May. Now, as you know, I'm kind of excited to see the documentary, Enter the Clones of Bruce. I, I really do want that. And now you've got three options, because they've brought out a box set, and they've also brought out limited to only 400 the send in the clones bundle but that it looks great but it ain't for me now i'm having a bit of a tough time because when he first sent me the link my knee jerk reaction was oh god get this god get this but then i sort of sat back and thought some of them films are dreadful they really are I've only got a hand, not even, I've got three Bruce Bloitation movies. I've got Bruce Lee, The Man, The Myth with Bruce Lai. Bruce Lai again in The Chinese Stuntman that actually has Dan in the Santo. And I only really keep that film because of that guy at the beginning when he says, What? You know how to fight? I don't go fall in the States. And I know Chinese. And I've got The Clones of Bruce that has three Bruce Lees and John T. Ben who played the boss in... The Way of the Dragon. He's the mastermind beyond it all. But the film is wacky. I mean, sometimes they are quite fun to sit and watch and you do have a good giggle with them. If you're with your mates and you're having a couple of beers, they can be hilarious because they are so outrageous. You're weird. So I thought I'd go through the Game of Clones Bruce Bruceploitation Collection Volume 1 with you. But I will link them all in the description down below if you're interested in this sort of thing like i said i'm on the fence maybe you guys might be able to help me out with a comment like i said i am kind it does look great and i know a lot of work's gone into this but some of them films are just damn awful they really are fight, fight, just fight. but anyway so what i thought i'd do go through it with you talk about some of the extras i'm not going to go into all the audios different audios they've got and stuff like that. but i'll go through some and tell you what's in it so there's the <laughs> send in the clones that does make me laugh send in the clones right so the game of clones bruce bloitation collection volume one so there you go that's what it looks like and the price is a hundred and thirty five dollars so probably uk you're looking at about 106 110 quid something like that and there you go this is this is a pre-order with a street date for the 25th of june 2024 estimated web store shipping starts in the middle of may Many films tried to capitalise on the popularity of Bruce Lee. Some, some amped up his craziness as far as it would go. Others played it straight, delivering seriously good films. At his best, Bruce Bruceploitation was some of the most uninhibited and exciting martial arts cinema in ages. Some are alright, but... Like I've explained to you before, I don't even really watch the game of Death 78 no more. Since we've had all this... You know, Warrior's Journey, Art Point, Redux, and now the final game of death. I kind of just leave it alone. Although, I can probably quote it line by line because I've seen it tons. So, what you get? It's an 8 disc collection, 14 restored Bruce Bruceploitation classics, plus the award winning documentary. And that, Enter the Clones of Bruce, I am itching to watch that. That I do want to own. I must admit, I do want to own that. I've been dying to watch it since I saw the trailer ages ago. And they've tracked down Dragon Lee, Bruce Ler, Bruce Lai, and all the others and interview them. My name's Bruce Lee. Bruce Lai, Bruce Lee, Bruce Flea. You get a 100-page book of essays, posters, and rare photos, and over 24 combined hours of special features. 
And it says right now, hours after Bruce Lee's death, Bruce Bloitation was born, and for the next 10 years, talented martial artists were enlisted to mimic iconic aspects of Lee's lifestyle and mannerisms. And all that. Anyway, I'll let you read it for yourself. So the first one, disc one, is the documentary Enter the Clones of Bruce. That I am really excited to watch. I could have that on its own. But like I said... If I just get that on its own, am I going to sit there kicking myself thinking, oh, I wish I'd have gone for the box set. Maybe you might be able to help me out in the comments. Right, disc two. Obviously on disc two you get two movies. The Clones of Bruce Lee, 1980, and that's the one with John T. Ben and three different Bruce Lees. It's, it's wacky. It's, <laughs> the thing is, you've got to laugh at it. You know, it's... It's nothing like the real Bruce Lee, but you do have to laugh at it. And then you've got Enter Three Dragons, 1978. And it, a ton of extras. That I'm gonna, You're going to see it on the screen anyway, and I'll link them down below so you can go through them yourself. But, you know, the big boss remembered interview with actor John T. Ben, who's no longer with us, God rest his soul. So there is, you know, people that was involved in the whole thing, right? So that's disc two. Disc three, Enter the Game of Death. 1978 enter the game of death so like ton of extras on that as well and then you've got goodbye bruce lee his last game of death 1975 last kung fu picture show i mean there's a there's not packed with extras like the arrow bruce lee discs but there's enough and there's enough films there's like i said there's two on each one so disc four the dragon lives again 1977 and Bruce and the Iron Finger from 1979. I mean, some of these, I've got to admit, I haven't seen. I haven't. I tried to avoid them. But maybe there's some gems in there that I do like. Like I said, the man and the myth, the Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee sort of biopic. I quite liked it. And even the nunchucks was cut back in the day. I've got the, the full uncut version now. <laughs> Anyway, I digress. Disc 5, Challenge of the Tiger, 1980, and the Cameroon Connection, 1984. Not the Chinese Connection, the Cameroon Connection. Lights, Cameroon Action. Oh my God. Right, Disc 6, Super Dragon, The Bruce Lee Story, 1974. I mean, literally, it was made the year after Bruce passed. And then The Dragon Lives, 1976. All with their extras and all that lot. Though there's quite a few special features on that one. Then Disc 7, The Dragon, The Hero, 1980. And Rage of the Dragon, also from 1980. I mean, it might be fun to have a watch of some of these. Like, these are the sort of movies you can sit down with your pals, because my wife wouldn't be interested in watching any of this stuff. A couple of your mates come round, crack a few beers and have a good old laugh. And Disc 8 is a web store exclusive limited edition bonus disc. This I am interested in, I've got to admit, The Big Boss Part 2 from 1976. I think there's a trailer out there somewhere, but you haven't, I have no one has seen the full version for years. And I do believe, from what I've seen, it was filmed in Pak Chong, you know, the Boss's Mansion, the Ice Factory, and it looks very much like it was in The Big Boss. You know, from 1971, the Bruce Lee film. That one I'm interested in, I won't lie. That one I am actually interested in. And then you've got the Black Dragon versus the Yellow Tiger from 1974. So, you're getting a lot of films on there. You really are. Let me just quickly show you. Um, the Send in the Clones bundle. My Send in the Clones Strictly limited to 400 pre-order. This is $195, so 130, 40 quid, I guess. So you get the Game of Clones, Bruce Bloitation Collection Volume 1, the box set that we've just gone through. Enter the Clones of Bruce, poster signed by Bruce Le, rolled, and that is 17 inches by 22. And let's be honest, that is kind of a cool poster, isn't it? I'm not getting involved. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. 
Um, you got Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee, Son of the Dragon, vintage original 1974 poster, same size as well. A cassette single with a free digital download fe- featuring He's a Legend, He's a Hero, and Even a Strong Man Must Die from The Dragon Lives. King of Kung Fu from Goodbye Bruce Lee's Last Game of Death, and Dragon Motion and Nunchuckamania from End of the Clones of Bruce. That's going to be funny, actually. I must admit, that's going to be funny. Um, the Black Dragon and the Yellow Tiger postcard signed by the Grandmaster, Clint Robinson. And Dragon Lee, original vintage one sheet poster, three styles Rage of the Dragon, Dragon on Fire, and Dragon's Inferno. That's 27 by 40 inches. Styles selected at random. And then, obviously, all of the stuff the same. I mean. <sighs> To be honest with you, I was hoping in the Game of Clones box set it was going to have the real Bruce Lee um, because it's got that Dragon Lee film. And that's another one I've got, actually. I have got the real Bruce Lee, but it's only on a file on my computer because it's got the Dragon Lee one where he kicks the rocks and all that lot. I quite like that, I must admit. I mean, Dragon Lee is like Bruce Lee on steroids. I mean, he's... He's massive, and he overdoes it with the mannerisms. So it's kind of fun. So, I'm tempted. I mean, I definitely want that. End of the Clones of Bruce. And I must admit, I wouldn't mind that as a poster, actually. That does look kind of cool. But I think if I bought this, I would really regret not getting the box set. Because it does look kind of cool. I don't know. I'm going to have a little think about it. Like I said, I'm not going to go for the... Send in the clones. That does. Even just saying it cracks me up. I've got me raw glasses on here. It does make me laugh. I'm going to change it actually. I thought I couldn't see properly. Hello. Right, so um, I don't know. I don't know. I probably am going to end up buying the box set. I probably am. Because, like I said, it's volume one, so there's going to be more to come. I would have liked a better copy of the Chinese Stuntmen, to be honest. The Man, the Myth could have been on there but like I said there is going to be a volume 2 who knows if there's going to be a volume 3 the question I ask myself is seriously how often am I going to watch them and am I going to be able to sit through 14 Bruce exploitation movies you can't look at them and compare them to Bruce films you just can't do it but it does look nice. Severin have really pulled out all the stops. And I definitely want to see Enter the Clones of Bruce. I've been itching to see that. I mean, there's some great Bruce exploitation documentaries here on YouTube. But what do you think about this box set? Are you going to get it? I know some of you definitely are. I'm on the fence. Like I said, my knee-jerk reaction was, I've got to get this. When I watched the trailer, it looked so mad. You know, Bruce Lee versus Clint Eastwood, James Bond, Dracula. I mean, it's just crazy. I don't know yet. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm kind, like I said, I'm literally just like that. 100 quid ain't that bad for that amount of films, but that amount of films that I may not watch or only watch once. But then again, I ain't really being fair because I haven't sat through them all. I've only seen a handful, and some of them just put me asleep, to be honest with you. But some like the Chinese stuntman, the man, the myth. And my brother was around the last time we watched uh, The Clones of Bruce. And to be honest with you, we had a good laugh watching it. We really did have a good laugh watching it. I don't know. Let me know what you think of this down below. I mean, we knew it was coming. We did know it was coming. I didn't know it was going to be volume one of many more to come. But I guess, whether we like it or not as Bruce Lee fans... This Bruce exploitation genre is forever going to be attached to Bruce. I've got a conundrum. I've got a conundrum. So anyway, I'm going to put the links to Severin's website in the description down below. Have a little look for yourself. Like I said, I literally brushed over it. I didn't really go into the special features and all that lot. Have a little look for yourself. But you, you did see what I was looking at on the screen. I may end up pre-ordering it. I just... 
I know I'm going to kick myself if I don't, but there's a good chance I'll kick myself if I do. What are you going to do? Right, enough of that, enough of that. But I thought I should cover it on the channel anyway, because um, it is new and it is kind of Bruce Lee related. And I know they put a lot of work into that documentary and all these films are of the best elements you can ever get. So they'll be as good as you can ever see them. I mean, some of these movies are on, if you follow the Wu-Tang on YouTube, they play a lot of these old classic Kung Fu films on their YouTube channel. And they look fantastic, some of them. They really do. So I've not completely made up my mind yet. I will be owning End of the Clones of Bruce this year. That I know for sure on Blu-ray. And these are all Blu-rays, by the way. They're not DVDs. They're not 4K, obviously. But and some of them have got hard burnt-in subs. So you can't just have it on dub. And... But is that a thing? I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Let me know your thoughts, guys, down there below. Do you like the Bruce knockoff films? The Bruce exploitation movies? Have you got a few favourites? I mean, I have got some that I wouldn't get rid of. For obvious reasons. To me, some of them are just hilarious. And the Chinese stuntman is a... I mean, I'll be honest with you, I, I say I love it. I ain't seen it in ages. Mixed feelings, mixed feelings. But anyway, that, there it is. It's out now. Um, Severin have put out a 10-minute trailer to wet your beak a little bit. So, by all means, check it out. I will put that in the link down below as well. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Right, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> if you like this sort of thing, maybe give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it don't cost you nothing and it does help me out have yourselves an amazing weekend guys much love i'll be back with another ramble real soon take care now